Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's Monday. It's a pool video. I've got a few things I want to talk to you about. Um, let's talk about stuff to not buy because I am fed up with buying some stuff, thinking that there's money in the market when generally speaking, I know there's some differences, but you know, generally speaking, there's just not. Let's talk about a few things. Let me get cleaned up. I'll get right back with you. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Max. I'm the fast talking flipper. Angie's my better half. She's inside dealing with household chores kind of stuff because it's late at night. It's nine o'clock, 9.30, something like that. We just got back from the grocery store. So she's putting away groceries. We are resellers. We're here in the Cincinnati market, just outside of Cincinnati, about half an hour from downtown out in Southeastern Indiana. And we buy locally at yard sales, estate sales, thrift stores, that kind of thing. Sell it online for more, typically on eBay, what we do other marketplaces as well. This is our weekly pull video where we go through what has sold over the weekend in our quest to do $100,000 in sales on eBay. Not profit, $100,000 in sales. It's a pretty sizable number because we only do this part time. I might be in this shed. This is probably the biggest chunk of change that I'm in this shed is when I'm filming and shipping. Um, I, I typically don't list a ton. Angie handles most of the listing. I do a lot of the sourcing, but uh, she handles most of the listing, cleaning, that kind of thing. And she edits the videos, that too. So uh, we do it part time, probably between the two of us, 30 to 40 hours a week. Um, some weeks more, some weeks less, but that's kind of how it goes. And uh, for this past weekend, from Friday into today, you know, now that I say this, I got one sale that sold and I've already shipped it because uh and it'll be part of this video as well um I already shipped it and I think it was only like 40 or 50 bucks but uh I've got 17 left to ship for $1,001.51 that one sold because it I needed to get it shipped out of here because they needed it and I think it'll get to them even without shipping it out as quickly as I did um they needed it for a birthday party so I wanted to oblige them and make them happy hopefully everything arrives there 17 items $1,001.51 that's just shy of $60 per sale which is good I definitely like that. Uh, Dungeons and Dragons. I bought these stack of Dungeons and Dragons, and I will tell you what, right now, I am never buying Dungeons... No, I will. I don't like Dungeons and Dragons. Uh, what is this? Supplement Dungeon Master's Guide 2 hardcover. I don't know what that means. Dungeon Master's Guide 2. This guy right there. I'm going to have to put the camera down to get it, but... Um I gave $150 for that whole stack, and I think it listed for somewhere, everything in here sold, or it listed for three to $400. Not not great turnaround, not great money, because at three or $400, I'm going to pay, say it sells for $400. Um, $80 in fees, give or take, plus shipping materials and that kind of thing. Uh, I might make $150 off of everything if I'm lucky. Not even that, $100 off of everything. You know, really... After taxes and everything, I'm gonna make less than a hundred dollars off everything here, and that's just not that's not our target. It, it took me longer to list that um, than what it's worth a lot, and that's part of what I'm getting into with today's topic is stop buying things that aren't worth your time and start putting a value on your time that is more than three or four dollars an hour. Um, give me just a second, I'll pull this video. Or the, <laughs> I'm gonna pull the dang book out. There it is. Dungeon Master's Guide 2 sold for $22.99, so that's going to go out of here. Easy to ship, at least. Uh, let's see, Toy Box 3. I got uh, Action Comics number 1 uh, in Brave and the Bold 28. I've sold a Brave and the Bold, a legit Brave and the Bold number 28, which is the first Justice League of America. Um, I had one a while ago. It was a very, very, very low grade, but it's a super cool comic because it's first JLA. Um, yep. Justice League being, you know, Superman, The Flash, all the people together, Wonder Woman, and Action Comics number one, most iconic comic book ever. But those are reprints. Uh, I know I'm brave in the bold, 28. If it was legit, like a PSA 10, or PSA 10, PSA 9 or something like that, 9, 8, in that range, you know, you're a $100,000 book easily. These are, uh, so, uh, well, are these Golden Age? That's Golden Age. I don't know if this is considered... Uh, Golden Age or Silver, but uh, definitely key books. Definitely key books. But these are Loot Crate, twenty six ninety. Excuse me, twenty six ninety five for the pair of them. They've been here a while. Been here a good long while. I three. I am going to I three. Namco Arcade. One of these little joysticks. The plug and play kind of dealios. You know, it's all self contained. This guy here gave a buck for it at a citywide yard sale just recently. Um, 
but they're kind of cool. You just plug them into your TV, and it's got the games and stuff on it. Not high quality, not high uh, high dollar either, but they sell pretty easily. Fifteen dollars had it listed for like nineteen ninety nine, um, and man, it sold quick. And that's why we buy them. That's the only time we buy stuff that's going to sell below twenty dollars because it sells quick. It it just sells quick. I'm going to pull both of these next um, next ones here. We got these at the Honey Hole. These are Shawa rubber gloves. Where does it say that they're at? S two. Shawa rubber gloves. These are like um, insulated gloves, rubber insulation gloves that keep you from getting shocketed. Did we already ship the other ones? I think we must have shipped the other ones. I think he bought both pairs, but he bought them at different times. Um, he decided that he was going to get, you know, he got such a good deal on the first set of gloves that he was going to get the other ones. And that's fine by me because um they made us pretty good money i think i gave 20 dollars. they wanted there was like i don't know 30 or 40 pair and they wanted like two dollars a pair and i said hey i'll give you 20 bucks for all of them and uh, she said sure they stuck around a lot longer than i thought they would um they weren't as valuable as i thought they were either but uh 28 for these guys took an offer on them they've been sitting too long hey look at that <laughs> more dungeons and dragons uh, epic level handbook, Dungeons and Dragons, epic level handbook. Let's see if we can find this together. Holler when you see it, because I don't know where it is. Epic level handbook. Of course, it's at the bottom, all the way at the bottom. The excitement. There it is. Epic level handbook, $22.99. At least those are easy to ship. I've got uh, book folds that they will go in and I'll get them out of here. Smalls four. got a snap on ratchet. I'll pick this up. And they sell pretty well. Anytime you see Snap-on stuff, always try to get it. $59.99 for a little quarter-inch drive ratchet. I will wrap that in bubble and put that in a bubble mailer and be done with it. Super easy to ship. I uh, got a pair of Monster High Feet and Smalls 7. It's these guys here? Nope. These guys here? Nope. That there? Nope. Of course, it's going to be way in the back. Jack them? Nope. Maybe that was them. I don't know. Uh -oh. Was this them? Yeah, these are socks. Knee <laughs> freaking socks. I thought they were boots. They're socks. Monster High socks. This is why you always look at Monster High. $15. <laughs> we had them listed for $19.99. Somebody gave us an offer of $15. Yes, I'm selling socks. Monster High Socks for $15. Mario and Luigi. It's a Nintendo DS game media five. Mario and Luigi. We have bought so many video games lately. Um, I put an advertisement out on, where was it this time? I just put an advertisement on Facebook that I buy video games. And I am in an area that uh, not a lot of the other video game buyers are in. So um, I've been getting, you know, you know, what was funny, this guy is still $24.99. Um, I don't know what we paid for it individually. I think we got it in a big lot for like $450. But uh, we'll get, like, there, we have a, we got one of those princess TVs with the DVD VCR combo in it. And it was all included in there. That thing sells for like 300, 300 bucks by itself. Uh, we had someone, I made a post and then a business commented on the post and said, you know, it's all fine and dandy to have someone come to your house and pick up video games, but we're a brick and mortar and blah, 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 blah. And, uh, I fired right back and said, boy, you have some balls. You're getting on my post and you're trying to pick up business off my post. Like, get the hell out of here. Uh, and then I blocked them because I don't have time for that. Another snap on ratchet, very similar to the last one, but this one has more teeth inside of it. You can hear it by how it turns differently. Maybe. Yeah, that one has less teeth. This one has finer teeth. So it's a little bit easier to use. $69.99 on that guy. $69.99. Not too bad. Um, I blocked them. And then what's funny is the woman who contacted us off of that post, she actually said she went with me because of what I said to them. She thought that that was rather rude of them and that I stood up for myself. A lot of... Various PlayStation memory cards. We have been picking these up because they come with the lots. We don't have much use for them, and we would have a ton extra. Put them all in a lot. There's 14 of them, and we sold it for $89.99. Pretty darn good. And it listed and sold quick. I think we did it like a day. Super quick. I've got an Olympus Stylus 120 camera. E4. I believe... 
this was on an ask. We said, hey, do you have any cameras? And they said, you know what, fam? We sure do. And uh, I hope it says E4, but I don't see it in E4. Um, they said, we sure do. They went back in their house and they came back out with it. And when we said, how much do you need for it? They said, oh, you can have it. Perfect price. It says E4, but uh, I don't see it in there. I have to ask the Angela. She would know, unless that was it in a, or unless it's in a case or something, which I'm stupid, and then I don't see it. Um, I'm stupid, and I don't see it because it's in a case! Ugh. Look at that. It's right there. It even says Olympus right on it. But yeah, a lot of stuff at this yard sale was free or very, very, very cheap. And um, they gave us that camera for free. We had no idea it was worth anything. We just buy cameras. You know, if it was a buck or two, we would have bought it anyway. But uh, $119.99. Yep. Yep. I can't make this stuff up. This is why you do it. This is why you have fun with it. Another one of these snap-on. It's on there. I think it's in here. Yep. Snap-on spark testers. These little guys. Wrap it in bubble. Put it in a padded mailer. Sold for $21.98. $21.98 for that little screwdriver. H3. H3. I sold one of these last week, and then it's funny. Uh, it sat around for a good long time and didn't sell, didn't sell, didn't sell. Suddenly, sell one last week, and then uh, again this week. Well, I told Angie we had two of them. And look at that. We don't. <laughs> That's great. I thought we had two of them. I really... You know what I think happened? You know what I think happened? I think I might have shipped both of them to the same person. Mm -mm. That's a problem. It's a Maserati owner's manual handbook, like the bag that you put it in. And I swore up and down I, I bought two of them. Uh, it says it's an H3. That's H3. Let's check H2 because it could be an H2. No, it's not an H2. I would have known if it was, well, maybe it is an H2. I don't know. I just work here. I don't know. It's not an H2. This is an H2. It's not an H2. An H4? Nope. Not an H4. Nope. Nope. <sighs> Looks like I'm giving somebody a refund. Um. And how do you guys do this? How do you handle it when you screw up like this? I don't want to take a defect. I'll tell you right now. I don't want to take a defect. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to print a shipping label. I'm going to buy a shipping label, a very uh, cheap shipping label. I will ship it. You know, it's worth four dollars to me to not hit it, hit a hit it, to not have a defect. I'll buy a shipping label and uh, I will refund all their money. That's what I'll do. And then that way I don't get a defect. Because uh, I believe that we have it. I really do believe that we have it. And I think that I shipped two of them to the same person when the other one sold. Thinking that they were supposed, they were, you know, a whole package deal. This is why you don't package or you don't put two of the same thing together. Uh, it was only $22. But, um, yeah, I screwed up. Somehow or another, I screwed up. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to buy a shipping label. They will uh, get a refund immediately after the shipping label. I'll refund the entire, all of their money. Say, sorry, I'm out of stock. Um, I've heard other people do this. And what they do with it is they will actually ship them a card with like some stickers and a 10% off coupon or something along those lines. That's a great idea. I don't have stickers. I don't have 10% off coupons. I'm not that big. You know, like Kevin, Hollywood Kevin, he's got stickers. He's a fancy pants. I ain't that guy. So, um... I'll just, you know, refund them. That's what I'll do. Because I don't want to take the defect. So, um, that's the way around it. Is it right? He... Take it up with Kevin. He's the one that taught me. <laughs> take it up with Kevin. I4. I got a Canon EOS Rebel XS. I bought this a couple weeks ago at the local on June 1st. Um, the local yard sale here. This, this here I got for free at that same yard sale that we got the last camera from. That one that I just sold for 119, they gave it to us for free. I got it listed for 59.99. This Canon EOS 
uh, XSI. EOS XSI. Yeah, pretty nice little camera. I gave $10 for it at uh, the local uh, yard sale here in town, uh, my little town, and it sold for $124.99. Pretty darn good. Pretty darn good. G2 is where I'm going next. G2. Now, I ran into 50 Cent the other day, and he was knitting a sweater. I thought that was rather peculiar, so I said, G, you knit? It was a dad joke. Got one of these. G2 is where it was. Uh, it is a snap-on brake tool, uh, release spring thing, majigger. If you do rear drum brakes, you need one of these. $29.98. You don't need it, but it makes life so much simpler. Gave $5 for this next item at a yard sale. And um, it was one of those yard sales where like everything was a little overpriced. And we didn't really want to buy anything. But then I saw these and I looked them up. And uh, we needed sheets. So that's why I looked them up. And uh, they sold for 50 bucks. They're, um, I think they're not our size. That's what, yeah, they're king. But I didn't realize that until I was like, oh yeah, those look like queens. And uh, they're king size. But home style, 1200 thread count. The higher the thread count, the better the sheet set. Usually 50 bucks, gave five bucks for them. And they sold quick. I mean, a week, maybe. C3 is my last item. I want to double click or double check, I should say. C3, some soaps. We were just down in Tennessee with our good friends, Scott and Christina, trading post pickers. Um, and this is one item I will always, 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 always look for. Is it these? It can't be these because it's too heavy. Is it these? No. It just says it's in C3. I don't see it. It's not these. C3. C3. Maybe it hasn't made its way to C3 yet. This is how you go through as a reseller. Misplaced and stuff. I feel like she just hasn't put it out in the right spot yet. And it's somewhere over here. What is this? Some soaps. Anytime we go to an estate sale and it's obvious that the uh, the house, it was an older couple or an older person, we want to go through the basement and we want to go through the bathrooms and we look for discontinued uh, toiletry items like this. Beekman 1802 Honey and Orange Blossom Goat Milk Bar Soap. Four soaps, $30. At that same estate sale, we got uh, discontinued hair dye. It was $3 a box. It sells for like $10 to $15 a box. It's a no-brainer. That kind of stuff is great. Love it. Absolutely love it. The things I'm going to tell you to not buy. Anything media-related, damn near it. You know, video games are a different story. But if you're talking about, like this stuff. I, I bought these on a whim. Now, there are tapes. There are sealed tapes that are worth money. Learn those rather than just randomly buying sealed tapes like I did. I just picked them up because they're sealed. And I was like, yep, this is going to be worth something. They're not. They're not worth the, the time. I value my time at, you know, I even said, it probably took me an hour and a half to list all these, maybe an hour, uh, to list all these. And I'm going to make $70 to $100. That For most people, they're okay with that. That's after taxes. For most people that are okay with that, I'm not okay with that. I want to make more than that. I'm trying to make this as efficient as possible. And I show that by picking up higher stuff. I would rather spend the time looking for the stuff than to spend the time listing the lower dollar stuff and you know getting the low hanging fruit. We see it all the time where a lot of resellers have an average sales price. It's very, very low. They're selling a lot of stuff and they're doing way more work to get that done when you could spend the time to look for better stuff and get better stuff on the front end so that at the back, you spend less time doing all the work. This is $1,000 worth of stuff right here. This right here is $1,000 worth of stuff. This will take me less than an hour to ship. That's where you want to be. That's 100% where you want to be. Uh, selling stuff, you know, for $10, $15 or, you know, I, I love Paige. I love his channel. I love everything about him. But I watch him sell things for $3. That's not worth your time. And it, it goes into the old conundrum that that's what we can find. I've heard that so many times. That's what we can find. No, that's what you're okay with finding. You can find better. I guarantee you can find better, but you are okay with finding it. If you spend time looking for more, better items, you might have to be more uh, peculiar or particular about what you buy, you will get better items. And that's kind of going to be the way it works. So when it comes to media, I say VHS tapes. Don't bother with them unless they are very niche or horror 
they're not worth it. And when I say niche, it's some rare stuff, you know, some weird rare stuff. Uh, horror like this. This is a late run VHS tape, Napoleon Dynamite. I had no idea it was worth any money, but I thought about it and I was like, wait a second, Napoleon Dynamite's a rather new movie. I'm surprised it's on VHS. So I picked it up and looked it up and sure as heck, it's worth like 50 bucks. Sealed is worth a lot more, but sh like stuff like this, no, it's not worth anything. We bought it thinking it was worth something and it should just go away. DVDs, sealed DVDs, it should just go away. All these DVDs, I thought they would be worth something. They're not, get out of here. It should just go away. This all should just go away. That's a whole shelf full of nothing. It's, there's one good tape on there. There's one tape that's worth it. Is it worth the, you know, space? I could fill this up with video games. I got video games galore. And I could fill this up with video games instead of having random crap. That's, uh, you know, it's probably $100 right here. Maybe. Minus the Napoleon Dynamite. There might be $100 right there. It's not worth it. Your space is worth more than that. Your time is worth more than that. That stuff sitting there, it's been there. It's been there forever. That stuff sitting there is not worth it. Um, are you with me? Let me know what you think. I, I'm sure there's a lot of people that will disagree with that because I know a lot of people that have average sales for rates uh, that are much lower than ours and they're okay with that kind of stuff. And I, I want to hear from you. I want to have honest debate. Um, we recently lowered our our allowable limit on what we sell as far as video games go because we were leaving a lot of money on the bone when it came to unloading those games down the road because we buy everything we see. We'll go in and we'll buy a collection and it might be a hundred games in it. We're not going to nitpick and say, I only want this and this and this and this and, you know, leave the ones that are only $10 because we get it for a bundle deal. And then when they get home, we're only listing the ones that are worth 20 bucks. And that leaves the 10, $15 games in there. And then when we have a yard set, we just blow them out for a dollar a piece. That's leaving a lot of money on the bone right there. So we lowered it and they're selling faster. You know, we haven't uh, listed a ton of video games lately. Saw a couple sold in there. Um, but we're we're gonna sell stuff faster. You'll you'll see as we get into this giant video game lot that we got, um, we'll have some listed that are ten fifteen dollars that kind of thing. So uh, comment down below. Let me know what you think. Uh, like, share, do subscribe. Please do subscribe. We have been hurting on subscribers lately. Um, a lot of them have sloughed off because we had that one short blow up, and man, we got like a thousand subs. Over the course of like two weeks, like 1,100 subs. It was ridiculous because we had two shorts blow up pretty big. Uh, one did like 500,000 and another like 160,000 views, which for this channel is fantastic. Um, and then it blew up a lot of other videos as well because people were coming over and seeing that. And it got us a whole bunch of subs. Well, those people, once they realized what the channel was really about seeing all these videos come out, they started leaving in droves. And our sub level fell and fell and fell. Even though we kept doing content, um, it was falling and it was rather discouraging. So when you're putting out content and you're, you're seeing negative results happening, it's uh, you know less than encouraging. So that's why we haven't been putting out as much lately. Kind of burnt out on it. But uh, we're back to it. We're doing pretty well. We've got a bunch of videos that we need to edit. It's just we've got so much stuff. And to do this part time, you have to pick and choose where you can put your time. We've got a bunch of picking videos that we need to edit. Those are the hardest to edit. These kind of videos where I can do them in one take and uh, you know, Angie does quick editing. She can get one of these edited in like an hour. It's not hard, but a picking video might take several hours to do. So uh, we need to get that down. Um, we're gonna work on that. So remember like, share, subscribe, comment, do what you all want to do, and we'll see you on the next one. Oh.